So you can watch this video in virtual reality later. Okay. And they'll I see it from the it. camera. <laughs> like, yeah, we should do it. Um, and uh, yeah, so we should treat it like another person. Oh, okay. A person we don't know, a strange person, not necessarily someone we like. <laughs> <laughs> getting involved for the first time when you go from just kind of watching stuff being done to then being a part of it? I've never competed before. Um, my goal is to compete next year. So I think it's a scary part. Like you're, it's really stressful. Like you really want to push yourself, like you want to do your best. And you just have a really little amount of time to do that. Okay. But you have to be real, well prepared. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. But it's scary, of course. Yeah, it must be. It looks <laughs> it. Yeah. And what do you think the judges are looking for in the final composition? Well, I think they are looking and like, it's important to know what the judge is doing on its own. So like some are just looking for a face or special effects or mm -hmm. like body painting, like really details or abstract. So everyone, you should know what, like who the judges are mm -hmm. and what they're doing mm -hmm. and what they might look for. And then you have to look that you have, like it has to look good as, if you're close and from far. Mm. So you have to like, figure out how to do it, it, it work both ways. Mm. And yeah, you have to combine like everything on the body. Like you have to have to tell a whole story about it. Mm. Like it has to connect. Okay. You can't just put like one object here and the other one here and it doesn't connect. Like it has to be a whole design. So do you think the pieces that win tell a story and that story is easy to read? I don't. I don't necessarily say it's easy to read. For like, if I go around, like I couldn't. Like I might imagine like what the story is behind that. But I, yeah, I think some some body paintings have to be explained okay. as well. Okay.
lot. It's amazing. It's pretty much what uh, we didn't know what to expect. So it's you know, rising to our non-expectations. Okay. <laughs> okay. So pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. With yeah. no expectations. <laughs> cool. What's been kind of the highlight of what you've seen over the last five um, days? Well, the workshops were definitely a highlight for me. I've learned a lot. Um, I got to meet a lot of the you know, very well-respected artists in this field and been able to learn from some of their wisdom and um, that was definitely a highlight but also of course seeing the shows and the award shows are incredible they're absolutely incredible i would definitely agree i think for someone who's not got any art background um it's been awesome to come in and just see like such a new and different form of art and really to get to meet the different artists and um, just see what they're doing here it's been awesome and it was your first time modeling? Absolutely. Was it? Okay. Uh, how was that? Was it scary when you started? No, no. I liked having an artist that I knew. That was definitely a comfort. Um, but no, it was really, it was, it was really cool to see like the, what would have been an awkward kind of environment you'd think really wasn't at all. It was really just a bunch of people who um, are amazed by the human body and um, seeing what kind of beauty they can turn one form of beauty into another. Mm. So it was cool. Cool, cool. And was it your first time doing body art? No, um, I've only recently gotten into it, but I've done, I started doing a lot of things on myself. Okay. And um, uh, I actually had a live, live art exhibit body painting show as my final project of college. So um, I had a lot of helpers, but that was kind of my first time doing art on other people. Okay. So. Hello. Uh, Hi. With me is Emanuele and Lydia, both from Italy. Yeah. I met Lydia at the Body Painting Festival exactly one year ago, and Emanuele, well, a few months Just, after that. Yeah, and, 10 months. Uh, when you came, we were on out. When I, so that's how connections work. We've been networking since last year. Um, so, yeah, it was your first time as well. Last wasn't year, it? yes, it was my first time, and I think it was amazing. So I, this year, I brought my boyfriend because I thought it was too amazing not to share it. Cool. Yeah, so you're right. Also, if, if he is not into body painting at all, but he knows about my passions and so. And he, he, he likes music a lot because this festival is not only about body painting, mm. it's mainly about body painting, but it also has some good music in it. What do you think? Yeah. 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 Uh, for me, the music is kind of a, like a great thing going on in the background mm. during the day. Yeah. And then at night, there's like some really sort of special acts. Yeah. In the that. afternoon, there are many bands from here, from yesterday, for example, there was a band from Germany as well, mm. and also from USA, I read in the program, so there are many famous 
itself mm. to most people. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's really good. I think it's great that it has a, like another side to it. Like if if we were doing all of this in silence, it would be weird. Yeah. So really weird. Yeah. Really weird. What made you want to come for the first time last year? Oh, well, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, I just thought it was uh, a special thing. Yeah. We have festivals in Italy too, but this was so much bigger. And the interesting part was that uh, people from all around the world were coming. So I thought it was a good place to stay. Where to be. Okay, so. and it was good enough that you came back. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but you're not, like, your main profession is not art, is it? You're studying mathematics. No, uh, yeah, I'm studying mathematics. So, I love art, actually. Okay. I didn't know that I like this kind of art, which is more classic in my taste. But I really liked it. Okay. Oh, so you do still appreciate the body art and you kind of... Yeah, yeah. Okay, do you find you both agree on what's good as well? Or no, we different? have completely different tastes okay. in, in almost everything, also in body painting. Okay. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Well, you both agreed to come here, so yeah. that was yeah, good. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what, what, the main part of it. Yeah, the main the only point, part of yes. Yeah. the World Body Painting Festival is the biggest one. Yes. Would, would you agree with that? Is yes. it kind of the one? Yeah. On it's the World Body Painting Festival mm. and it's the biggest uh, um, yeah, festival like this. Okay. So, uh, there's Living Art in America and Deco Festival in uh, Korea. Mm. They're all very big but this is the biggest. Okay. Yeah. And I, I have friends who have got into the business sort of by starting off as the assistant and then becoming an artist or maybe starting off as the model and then yeah. sort of moving places and, and trying different things yeah. do you think that's a good way to get involved or yeah uh, just just be involved in, in any way okay. just just be here and look at it and, and be uh, get inspired by it mm. just be be there and get the vibe and get the virus we okay. say at the body painting festival okay um, and finally do you have any advice for anyone who looks at this and thinks, oh, it's a lot of beautiful art, I'd love to get involved, but they're too shy to... Do it. To, yeah. just, just do, just it. Just do it, come here, yeah. um, feel it, yeah, maybe as a visitor at the beginning, it's, it doesn't matter. Okay. Just be here and, and feel it. Okay. It's amazing. All right.
um, maybe see you at a future body painting festival. That would be pretty cool. But either way, I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.